I got into law enforcement, uh, it started back in high school, uh, I was 17 years old. I had no money to go to college, I decided to enlist in the United States Navy. Uh, I was there for approximately five years, active duty. So when I first got into federal law enforcement, I started with the United States Secret Service. Uh, I did uh, over five and a half years there. I kind of wanted to look into something different, get back to the New York area, so the U.S. Marshal Service was just in getting into the fugitive business, and I was intrigued by that, uh, just the, the hunting of, of people. You want to take them right here? Let's take them here. Yeah, let's go. Stay right about it. Put your hands up and stay there. Now I'm a chief inspector, and I'm the commanding officer of the U.S. Marshal's New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force. As the commander of this huge, multi-jurisdictional task force, and being uh, the operational commander and, and uh, the region is very large. I have over 300 federal, state, and local investigators and over 90 different federal, state, and local agencies. We have thousands and thousands of success stories. Put away a lot of bad people. I've been involved in a couple of shootings. Uh, I was involved in a shooting in Brooklyn several years ago. Uh, individual wanted, young kid, 19, 20 years old, wanted for a rape, murder. We found his vehicle, put the car in drive, and actually drove right at me. I tumbled over the car, and all I know is rounds started flying at that point. He, he was fine, he, went to, he never went to trial, he pled guilty, and he's in jail for a long, long time. Working with the U.S. Marshals or in the fugitive program, uh, we're going after some pretty violent people. Uh, if you don't think somebody's on the other side of that door ready to kill you, you better think twice or, or get another job. You know, being in this line of work and train the way I have been trained since I'm 17, you know, military, secret service, U.S. Marshal Service, hunting fugitives, you kind of see life through a different focus. You know, I sit at dinner with uh, one of my loved ones and, and uh, I'm focusing on their conversation, but I can tell you what the guy's doing at the next table or who's behind me who just came out of the bathroom with the three that just walked in the front door. And I don't want to quote Ernest Hemingway, but there is no hunting like the hunting of man and those who have hunted armed men long enough and liked it, never cared to do anything thereafter. It gets in your blood.